what I really enjoy about working with small small companies, small organisations, is that it's it's really easy to touch almost a whole organisation with one intervention. Whereas with a multinational, um, you could be working with an organisation that has 300 or 400,000 people, and you're doing a program with 24 participants, and it takes a long time for the impact of the program to spread throughout the whole organisation. Whereas with a small organisation, the whole organisation may only be 24 people, so it's much easier to have a, a, bigger, a bigger impact more immediately with small organisations. Uh, in most of my work with multinationals, I work as an associate for other training companies, which means that I'm, I'm delivering programmes that other people have, have designed, which is great. You know, I just have to um, adapt what I'm doing to the particular group that happens to be there in the week that I'm working with them. Whereas what I enjoy with small organisations is that I, I, I have more of a relationship with the people in charge of the organisation and I'm really designing the programme that, that they want and need. So it's much more um, personal to the smaller organisation. Uh, yeah, psychometric instruments are, they start with a questionnaire and the, the objective is that it gives you some data, some information, some measurements of your, your personality, your way of working, your way of being, your, your preferences in the way you interact with other people, for example. So one that I use very often in my programs is Myers-Briggs MBTI and this is all this um, it looks at um, where we did get our energy from it looks at how we take in information it looks at how we make decisions with that information and it looks at how we like to organize ourselves in, in, in the world around us and I think the real benefit of it is that it helps not only understand ourselves better but it also makes us realize that other people are different and I think very often in, in, in life and in organisations we tell ourselves other people should change. And, and actually by using something like Myers-Briggs it makes the point that okay I have to understand that other people are different. Not everybody is like me, therefore sometimes it's appropriate for me to adapt myself to how other people work. Yeah, and I still remain completely and fully myself and I can adapt to the way other people prefer to work. So, and the way Myers-Briggs works is it's, it's simply a questionnaire that the participant completes online and then there's a, re a report that is generated which gives a lot of information about how the individual prefers to, to work, prefers to organise his or her life and as a um, starting point for coaching it just gives some really good information about preferences about how we prefer to, to operate and how that may or may not fit in with the demands of the organisation that, that we work with for. Yeah, this is, this is an interesting question because I, I did a um, Masters in Science, MSc in England and the subject was management, development and training. So it wasn't really about science as such. Um, so the first question, so the, what the benefit for me of doing a master's degree um, was that I, I'd been working in training and development already for maybe six years. And doing this degree uh, gave me a, a more sort of academic um, a foundation, if you like, to the work that I was already doing. It gave me more, more background, more understanding, more, uh, more theory and background, if you like. And as for, for science itself and coaching, I think um, I'm not sure that I'm the best person to answer that question. But I do know there's a there's a one of CTI's supervisors on the certification program is is doing some research into coaching and the brain and she's looking quite deeply at how coaching can actually change the way the brain functions it has an impact on the the connections in the brain and i think the value of that is that it gives some some solid 
um, scientific proof to the fact that pe people are able to change their behavior and their beliefs through coaching. You know, I, I know for myself that I've changed all sorts of things about my, my life and the way I operate thanks to coaching and it's, it's, um, it's difficult to prove. And by, by, by using science a little bit more, I think it, it, it gives some evidence and proof for people who need it that, that it really works. One of the things that really strikes me with these programs is that at the end of every course we have what's called a completion circle. So every participant has the opportunity to say whatever he or she wants to say at the end of the experience, at the end of the weekend, before leaving. And very often, something that people very often say is, I came on this course expecting to learn coaching tools and actually I've learned so much more than simply that. I've learnt about myself, I've learnt about what holds me back, I've learnt about my, my talents and I've learnt about my, um, my skills and, my, and, and, and it's been a, a deep experience, a deep personal experience about myself just as much it has, as it has been learning about coaching. So I think the added value is that people come to this programme and yes, absolutely, they, they learn coaching skills, they learn how to be a coach and they're also, as clients, because they're, they're clients during the programme as much as they are coaches, so they, they learn a huge amount about themselves as well. For the face-to-face -face part of the programme, there are five courses, three days each. The first one is called Fundamentals, and it gives a, an overview of the whole Coactive Coaching model. The next three modules are Fulfillment, Balance, and Process. And these are the three principles of Coactive Coaching. And each of these three modules looks at one of those principles in, in depth. So you'd spend three days on fulfillment, which is all about the, the, um, the meaning that we want from our lives. It's about having creating the life that we want and knowing that actually fulfillment is a, is a journey rather than a destination. So we can have fulfillment in, in any moment rather than trying to look for it. Balance, which is the, the second principle and the third module, is all about living life from conscious, powerful choice, rather than being stuck in the circumstances of life. So if fulfilment is about what we want, balance is how to get there, if you like. And then the third principle is process, which is all about um, connecting with being in the moment and connecting with our, with our emotions. It's about being as much as doing. In, in coaching and in life. And then finally, the fifth program, the fifth module is Synergy, and that really brings the whole model back together. So it puts fulfillment and balance and process all together, and also gives participants a chance to weave in some of the things that they already know from other areas of their life as well. Do it, it'll change your life. Your life will never be the same again. In a good way, obviously. <laughs>